right, uh, it is the Watch What Happens Live after show. Mia Thornton from the Outside of the Potomac. The new route from the Sex Lives of College Girl. Season two premiering Thursday on HBO Max. Her EP is called Everything to Everyone. It's wonderful. It's out now. Taylor Hale won season 24 of Big Brother. First black woman to ever win Big Brother and also the first winner to also win America's favorite house guest. And actually, Taylor, before uh, we take a couple viewer questions for our virtual fans, need to talk to you about Big Brother. I want to go deep with you. Your victory speech uh, in the finale was epic. Uh, what part of the speech were you most proud of? Ooh, I think the shield sword victim victor moment was the point that made everybody understand that my speech was not to guilt them, but to make everybody understand that my speech was for me, not anybody else. Have you had any contact with Kyle since leaving the house? I talk to Kyle all the time. Really? Yeah, well, that's Kyle... great to hear. Yeah, Kyle's a really good friend of mine. And what I really appreciate about him is that before he left the house, we had the opportunity to really dive deep into why racist ideas came into his mind. And he was able to make those amends before he left the house. So I told him, take the time get away from social media, and then I will give him suggestions for an anti-racism tutor, and he's been really receptive. That's a really great friend of mine. I love That's that. great to well, hear. Yeah. What do you think the biggest lesson from this season is, or what do you want people to know? Because it got very ugly. It did. Um, I think groupthink and bullying is very easy to succumb to, but you have to follow your gut. And it's really easy in the Big Brother experience to want to understand that someone can be evil. But you really have to take a step back and just understand, see people as human beings, be tolerant and use game moves only, not personal attacks. Cause it got real ugly. Has your, is your mom still mad at Terrence for? Uh, <laughs> you on the show? Someone grab her right now because yes, she's she's. <laughs> Y'all don't know. Y'all don't know. Um, at the finale so, night, she told him to go take a whole stroll across the, the backyard. So wow. I had to hold her back. And you are now with uh, yeah. your housemate. Mom. As you Good should. Job, mom. As uh, you you're should. now with your housemate uh, Joseph. And so, like, are you living in the same city? Do you live together? What's happening? I knew this was coming. I knew. Yeah. As soon as we announced, it's like, okay, when are you getting your eight carat ring, Taylor? No, we are still in separate cities. I'm in Detroit, he's in Florida, but I travel because I don't know, I'm really effing popular right now. So. Yes, you are. We're comfortable uh, yeah. taking advantage of it. <laughs> yeah. what, what, was your, what? what was your reaction to Britney revealing on Instagram that her biggest oh, regret of the season was not standing up for you in the bathroom when Dustin went off on you? Uh, Oh, Daniel. Um, Daniel. That didn't shock me. I know a lot of people have regrets, but she also had told me that before she left the house. That's the only reason I've been able to forgive people, because mm -hmm. a lot of them owned up to what they did before they were evicted. Last up, why? Um, talk to me about you. You revealed that you were sexually harassed by the former vice president of the Miss USA pageant. What kind of support have you gotten since revealing that? Yeah, I was really scared to come forward about that because putting your name behind something like that can be um, detrimental, but it's been really great. And a lot of people have been very supportive. Which have you heard from that. anyone in the organization? I had months ago. Um, they asked if I was okay. It didn't go as far as an apology, probably just because maybe there were lawyers advised them to. So I don't doubt that the people in the organization care about me and protecting the women, but it's it's been difficult and, and delicate as well. Mm. All right, thank you, Taylor Hale. It's so great to have you here. I want to go back to our virtual fans, Sarah and Sydney from Seattle. What's your question for Mia Thornton? Hi, Andy, Renee. Hi, Renee. Hi, Mia. Hi, Hi ladies. Um, Mia. Do you think that Robin and Juan will ever get married? <laughs> <laughs> um, sh if Robin says she's getting married, sure. Okay. Here's Alex from my hometown of St. Louis with a question for Renee Rapp. Hey, Alex. Hello, um, Renee. Love you so much. Hi, baby. Is there any truth or rumor that you're in the running to play Glenda in the upcoming film, A Wicked? Um, so... No, because it is Ariana Grande. Um, but thank you, and I love you. <laughs> now, have you not heard that Ariana Grande is playing the part of Glenda in the Wicked movie? <laughs> Done. But honestly, I appreciate your dedication. You know what? Start that rumor. Start that oh, rumor. Oh, yeah. was, oh, was the question, did you audition for it? Was that the question? No, you... the rumor. Oh, the rumor. Oh, okay. um, no. Did you audition for it? Did you audition for uh, it? I, I did. I did. You did audition for it. I did, yeah. Okay. Ariana's going to be... Can yes. I cuss? Yeah. Okay, she's going to be amazing. Yes. Yeah, I'm so excited. Yeah. All right. I'm so excited. 
Um, I'll see you in St. Louis, okay? <laughs> Thanks. All right, I want to thank our virtual audience. I want to thank Mia and Renee and Taylor. For more, click on BravoTV.com. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.